Greg Powers, TexasFootball.com, and I'm out here with Hazlitt, Eaton, tied in, Jaden Platt, man. It's been a big rise for you recently, man. First off, congrats on all the attention that's Thank been coming you. in. What's Thank it been like? Um, it's been unbelievable. You know, um, it's not even just about the attention. You know, um, being being having the opportunity to come out and see these different schools, you know, and and experience these different experiences. What they have to offer is just it's just amazing and a blessing to me. You kicked off like this a whole offer tour with the camp at Iowa State and an offer from there. What was it like like getting the first one and it being a Big 12 school, a Power 5 school? Getting that first one was unbelievable. You know, that first offer is, they say it's it's an experience unlike any others, and it truly is. Being able to tell your parents, you know, all that hard work that they've put, that you've put in, you know, it's it's amazing, you know, being able to, being able to see that hard work pay off. It's definitely a blessing. I'm going to transition into something here, but uh, what I find interesting is the decision that you guys like you and Hunter Herb did decide to play down on junior varsity and it paid mm -hmm. dividends. Coaches have got a chance to see, but it's given you reps. Um, how excited are you now to like walk onto that varsity field and now you're the guy? Yeah. Um, you know, being able to transition from JV to varsity was, you know, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm prepared. You know, I've worked out with my guys, my quarterback. You know, I, I feel the connection with my guys, and being able to play at that next level and show coaches that I'm, I'm ready for that next level and I can compete on that next level. How important are these camps, though, to a guy like you? I mean, it seems like it's kicked off. The college camp seems like it's kicked off a lot for you. Um, these camps, you know, they're they're not important just for to pick up an offer, but to see the coaches. You know, um, most of these camps I've went to, it's the tight ends coach. They were working with me and seeing how they coach me and how they get to me. Um, that's very important to me, so I can make a make a good decision with these colleges. Uh, who's the latest offer, and uh, what did it mean to you get that offer? Uh, the latest offer for me was the University of Texas. Um, that offer was, I was really, me and my parents and my family were excited for that offer. It's, it's been a dream school um, since I was a little kid and, you know, playing at that next level, you know, it was, it was a blessing. I'm talking with the guy right here who seems like he might have a future in front of the camera. And you're doing a great job on this interview and I know you told me coming in you didn't have a lot of experience doing this, but no one listening to this is going to know that at all. Sorry if I outed you a little bit right there, but Man, you're like a professional on the mic. <laughs> thank uh, you, thank you. Uh, I got to ask you about Texas A&M, too, because we're in College Station, and I know your teammate Hunter Herb is committed there, so mm -hmm. why don't you just kind of talk about what that Aggies offer meant to you, and are, are they a factor in your recruitment, too? Um, the Aggies offer was was definitely a factor, you know, in my recruitment. I, I Seeing the facilities, I got to visit after the camp, and it's it's amazing there, like the, the facilities, um, the dorms, or the apartments where you stay at, everything is amazing there, you know, and it is definitely, I'd say, um, a factor in my recruitment. Anybody else you're hungry for that hasn't offered yet? You're like, well, if a decision could be coming sometime, are you like, oh, maybe it'd be nice to consider School X? Yeah. Um, right now, you know, I'm pretty set on a few schools. Man, that has to, that in, in and of itself, that feels nice, yes, right? Sir. Like, yes, a sir. lot of relief. Yes, uh, sir. Didn't mean to cut you off, no, but no, I just no, think that's good. Cool. It's all good. Yeah. I'm, I, like I was telling uh, Mr. Howell, I, I'm trying to make my commitment probably by the start of our upcoming season or midway through our season. I want to make that commitment, you know, yeah. and um, I have limited it down to a few schools. There's no schools I'm trying to reach out to. I kind of have not made the decision, but, you know, I've, I've kind of made, made a somewhat what what schools I want to go to. I know everybody's going to be tuned in for that, man. Thanks for the time. Good luck with your upcoming 7-on-7 seven seven games and, of course, your uh, next season, 2021 season at Hazlitt Eaton, man. Thanks for the time. Thank you. Thank you.